Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Easter, y'all. So I am back out here because I have some left. And then I, I went home and made, um, uh, I had a request for one for a lady in my neighborhood. So I made one, then I was like, I gotta make more than one. And then, y'all, I had two of these wagons left. And I thought I only had one and I was gonna uh, make my grandson one because he loved Bluey, even though I feel like he's definitely too big for the wagons. But when he seen the first one I made, he was like, oh, is this one mine? So I said, I'm gonna make one for him. So I thought I only had one left. However, I forgot about the first one that I made, which was actually for him. But for some reason, I don't know why I thought I had sold that one, but I just stashed it away somewhere. So really I had two. So I made those two this morning because people have been asking about them. So um, I just checked um, Facebook and I had two people respond to a post I posted in my neighborhood yesterday. They just responded this morning. They was like, what do you have left? Do you have anything left? So I just took a picture and sent this to them, told them I was out here. It's windy again today. So I didn't put my tent up. I got this tarp from Walmart. Y'all, the other day when I, I thought it was yesterday when I was like, I was going to get a tarp, but they didn't have any in Walmart. They had some. I was just looking in the wrong spot. So even though I got my tent up, it ain't really helping that with the sun. So I got the chairs over here because the shade from the tent, um, you know, the, the tent itself. I mean, the shadow from the tent is giving me a little shade. So everything that's shrink wrapped, I put it over here. And all this stuff is not shrink wrapped, which I still don't really want it in the sun. But hey, what can you do? The sun is sunny, right? So, <clears throat> and I, y'all know what? I did so good yesterday. I was getting discouraged um, at first. Oh, I made I made a, did another umbrella this morning too, and I did that one this morning. I feel like I did something else. I don't know, but anyway, I was discouraged yesterday, and I'm like, oh my god, I should have went to Walmart. I ain't really getting up. But every time I kept saying I was getting ready to leave, people came. And you know the crazy thing is, right? This one man. So I always, well, not always, but oftentimes when I'm out selling, even when I'm at events. I be getting tips like people be giving me tips and stuff like that so um yesterday there was this um it was a it was a guy he had his truck out here he was selling like sports stuff so he had called one of his friends to come hang out with him or whatever and it was an older gentleman so he came he was like oh i just want to see what you got he said i know i ain't gonna buy nothing he said my wife do all the shopping he said i provide the money she do the shopping he said i don't need to shop for myself you know so we was just talking 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 or whatever and then when he got ready to leave he said well um, I know you out here doing your thing, so I just want to bless you with something. So I'm like, okay, so he gave me $10, and I'm like, okay, thank you. I'm going to buy me some lunch with this. You know, that's what I'm saying to myself. So um, then I had another couple came by, older couple. They came by. They got three baskets for their grandkids, and it was one thirty. So she gave me one forty. so I'm like, okay, let me get your change. And she was like, oh, no, you can keep that change, honey. That's your tip. So I'm like, Okay. <laughs> And then there was this younger gentleman came by. Um, he's getting his girls to date. He has, I think he has custody of his girls. So they was with their mom for the weekend. And he's getting them back today. And he was like, I gotta get some for him. He said, I was just headed to Walmart. Even though I was told that they don't have nothing else in Walmart. And listen, the Walmart by my house, y'all, the Easter section is cleared out. I know I ain't going there tomorrow when I do my after Easter shopping. But anyway, so he was like, and I just got out of work. He was like, and I'm so glad I came this way because he lived the other direction. But he came this way because he was going to go by Walmart. So he bought two baskets, $100. And then he was like, and here go you something, you know, because I know you out here hustling. You out here grinding. Here go you something. So I'm like, okay. So yesterday I got like $30 in tips. And I'm like, I am so, so thankful, which, um, you know, that has ha happened to me quite often. But it seemed like um, when that when that first gentleman gave me the tip, at, like I was already feeling kind of discouraged because I'm like, yeah, this is a good location. It's a lot of traffic, but people are not stopping. And it's kind of hard if you pass by, you know, it's not a quick, okay, let me turn around and come back type thing. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, dang, I should have went to Walmart, but I paid for this spot. And then I was like, I'm going to get up Sunday morning. I'm going to go to Walmart. But I paid for this spot again today too because I don't have to have the U-Haul back until later today. So I'm like, I'm just going to get out here and make the best of it. if i make some money i do if i don't i don't so that leads me to this right so even though today is the last day like i'm probably when people come up you know if they ask for a discount i don't know depending on how i feel i might i might you know some people come up with attitudes and it's like they know you're gonna give them a discount oh well you ain't gonna sell okay i might not but um 
they're not gonna go to Walmart today and get a discount on no Easter baskets. They, they ain't gonna go nowhere today and get no discount on no Easter stuff. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, yeah. But today, no. So it's like, mm, do I, you know, I probably will go down on my prices just a little, maybe by like $5 just so I can get rid of it. But guess what? If I don't sell it, I, I sell baskets all year round, baby. So I don't even care. I'll go in there and take them dang on eggs out and it's gonna be somebody, uh, um, a birthday basket or something. You know what I'm saying? So even though today is Easter, stand firm on your prices. If you want to give a discount, cool. If you don't, don't. See, and that's that's another thing about like when you're including food items in your stuff, it's very important that you check your um, expiration date because a lot of my stuff, like first of all, those dang on um those little muffin things I had got, those things expire soon. But <laughs> I don't know. I just grabbed that box. I ain't even checked the date on that. But a lot of my stuff is good until the summer of 2025. So if I sell it today, I you know. I would want to sell it today, but if I don't, you know, I have the option to take it back home, put it in the closet, because I'm definitely going to clean out my daughter's room, because uh, she ain't going to have no room at my house and at a man's house, too. Like, two rooms. She got a room and her kids got rooms. No. I'm going to clean that out. So, if I don't sell it, I might just go back home, put it in the closet, and, and wait till next year. I might go home and just go ahead and take the eggs out and revamp it for something else. Who knows? But I'm just saying, like, stick firm. Like, don't don't let anybody make you feel bad about your prices because today is Easter. I mean, yes, we all want to sell. We all want to make money. But at the end of the day, don't. If, if you got something priced for $70, you know what I'm saying, don't have them like, okay, I'll give you $40 for it. No, no, that ain't no... Nah, nah, don't do that. Don't let nobody have you when it comes to your prices. You know what I'm saying? But again, hey, some people, a lot of us, well, because I ain't really got no storage for real, for real, but I'm about to, I'm about to have some because I'm going to clean out the room. But, um, you know, we might not have a storage room. You know, we might just need the money for whatever reason. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But whatever you decide to do for your business, for your basket, do that. Do what makes you, you know what I'm saying? Do what's going to work out, work best for you. But don't let nobody make you feel bad about the decision you make. If you decide not to get them half price on the basket, if you decide not to get them 25% off on the basket, that's your business, your decision. All right? So, um, I'll check back in with you guys later. Actually, I'm finna sit out here and watch some of y'all videos because I didn't really um, watch videos yesterday because I forgot to charge my phone when I came out here and I didn't bring a charger. So, my my uh, my uh on both my phones, that's crazy. Both my phones ain't really had no juice. But um, I'm finna sit out here and um, watch some of y'all videos, catch up and see what y'all been up to. So um, until the next time, y'all have a great one.